Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Icon Moments SBC Thierry Henry card to review today. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the Maradona video, we did that like I think months ago to be honest with you. Um, so if you guys want to check out the review for that, uh, I will probably leave a link in the description down below. But if I don't, you literally just have to search Inception XX Maradona and you guys will be able to find that SBC. So... With Thierry Henry, guys, I will say that Thierry Henry is usually one of those cards that I don't like in FIFA. You know, I already tried his prime card this year, his mid, his his baby, and I wasn't necessarily a huge fan, right? Because the thing about Thierry Henry's card that throws me off from liking him uh, from the previous versions, we're going to see what this one is like in-game, is the high and average body type with the balance being as it is, right? Now... Let me just show you guys an example with Ronaldo, because I always compare him to Ronaldo when it comes to like how a card should, you know, potentially feel like around the general area. So you see how this Ronaldo is at a 71 for balance and then 87 for agility. So you would assume you take a look at the dribbling stature and like, oh, OK, so uh, this card should be a better dribbler. Why does this card dribble better? Because they literally gave him his own body type, right? But because Thierry Henry has the high and average, and I really hope EA sorts itself for future FIFA games because this is so annoying, uh, the high and average body type is what affects the card so much when the balance is low. But it could be different for this card because I've heard some people say that it actually feels significantly better, which is cool, obviously. But we obviously have to take a look at in-game, right? So with Thierry Henry, guys, we're taking a look at someone who's six foot two, high medium, right-footed, four-star, four-star, meets all the bare minimum requir uh, requirements to be usable in the gameplay. Uh, in-game player traits, he does have the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait. Attributes in-game, he's at 97-97. Uh, we're going to give him the engine because we need to because of that balance boost. Very important regardless. Uh, the shooting... I think 90 shot powers for base card stats could be low in certain situations. However, he does have 98 attacking positioning to work with 99 finishing as well. With 97 composure, 98, uh, 98 composure with 97 volleys, so not bad at all. Base card stats are passing is perfectly fine for a player that is mostly going to be playing in the striker position so no real problem there dribbling like i said in game we will be testing out because it's going to be very important for us to see uh heading accuracy at an 86 which is okay it's uh helpful from time to time but he doesn't really have any jumping but he is a tall player at six foot two so a couple things to consider there and then he has 85 for strength to work with his body type so if you play the game enough even this card to be honest doesn't look that impressive but maybe he surprises me in game We'll obviously take a look and see. So, with this card in game, guys, we will be using him in uh, a uh, four one two one two, or actually no four four two would be perfect because we have the two midfielders. So we'll use him in a four four two four. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Why not? Ultra attacking. Use him up top with Antoine Griezmann. No, 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 no. We're gonna do Kylian Mbappe. Like, what am I? What am I saying, boys? What am I saying? Yeah, okay, two strikers, balance instructions. These guys will just put on cover center. Stay back for these guys. Left mids, right mids on balance as well. Okay, cool. So we'll try him up top. Hopefully he's a beast. His body type is actually pretty cool. I don't know, it's, you know... It, it's a shame about the mechanics of the game with the high high and average body type, but it, it is pretty cool with him for sure. He's huge, bro. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Saw so Mbappe there, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot actually. Oh, too much ball rolls? Yeah, I did way too much ball rolls. I didn't think the goalie would react from the first ball roll, but he did. That was weird. Hmm. I wanted to do like a fake shot and then a quick little small dagger of a touch. Uh, you guys know that I always like to test that out when it comes to using the player's dribbling. And you can definitely see that his high and average body type as well as his bounce affects that part of the card. 
Go back here by default? Good, okay. Ooh, try a finesse shot from there, why not? Give it a shot, give it a shot. Yeah, so with his left stick, guys, you just have to kind of like time his, uh, you have to actually time your controller a certain way for you to be able to move well with him at the very least. Oh, I did get that shot cancel angle. Oh, hello. Oh, a little swipe of the ball right there. Mm, with his weak foot? Okay, okay. Good finish, good finish. Attacking AI wasn't too bad right there. At least he moved at an angle upwards. Nice little inside or outside foot shot. It's always nice to have the outside foot shot for those uh, near post angles, especially when it's on their strong foot. Oh, get him on his left foot right there. Yeah, I just have to... Oh, it's his name is actually Double Henry. Wow, that's actually hilarious. I'm getting used to his left stick touches a little bit. Um, it's it's definitely weird for sure because of that body type. Let me switch him to left striker here. And Dombele here. Yeah, and then this will be on five and seven. Or we'll do five and five or four and four. Balanced, five and five. Or four, no, nah, no, nah, we'll do four and four for that. Instructions, we'll just do this cam stay forward and these guys on cover center okay yeah I'm mean, let, let me see what he's like in the 412 and two Oh, I was close, man. I was close. If Thierry Henry was like explosive to get around the player there, that would have been nice. Hmm. I could have gone for a first time touch. I just wanted to see how he would settle it from a run to go for a heal to heal immediately. And to be honest, considering he was coming off of the run, it wasn't bad. In those situations, you do want to just shoot right away, to be fair. Little bit of that physical right there. Oh, there we go. First of all, that pass makes no sense. I did not intend for that to happen at all, but uh, still scores the opportunity. We'll take it for sure. Yeah, it's the dribbling, man. The dribbling in those, like when you wanna do like really quick cuts, it's uh, it's a little tough. Oh, he's offside too. No, come on. Oh, that's a forced opportunity too. I don't expect him to get that. To be fair. Oh, hello. So that attacking AI run, he stopped playing for some reason. That attacking AI run that he does right there, uh, he just kind of runs straight. Uh, <laughs> it's so crazy because just that little segment that you see right there, you'll be able to see the difference of attacking AI between a player like Mbappe and Thierry Henry. And to be honest, man, like I, I think Thierry Henry should feel like an Mbappe in this game. I really do, man.
Well, at least he sees that run right there. I think one instruction I may give him is get in behind. Uh, but as you guys know, I'm really, really big on players having that good base attacking AI so that when I give them the instruction, they're even better for what I need them to do during the game. Um, that was a good run by him. Wasn't bad at all. Uh, I just like to show the difference between how a player like Mbappe moves and how a player like Henri moves. Yeah, so that one, if I take a small little dagger of a touch, Henri was making a decent run right there. I mean, at least he plays well to his high medium work rates. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he used to have like medium, medium back in the day. Oh my God, for me, that was awful for him. There we go. Coming off of the relay, he takes a good strike there too. Try to get the chip. That I, I wish I don't know. I gotta figure out the chip shots, man, because I want to be able to hit those things more consistently. Because that's like the most satisfying way to score, to be honest. Oh wow! I actually scored the chip from there. <laughs> I'm talking about chip shots, and I actually score from there. Let's go. Oh, okay. Whew. You know what's funny is that I try to cancel the shot because I saw him using manual goalkeeping. So I was like, okay, I got to be able to cancel this. And uh, I couldn't cancel it. <laughs> oh, you got tossed, Henri. You got tossed, my boy. Tossed. There we go. Give me those angled runs, my boy. That was actually sick. I like that he did that. I mean, you know what else? You know what I will say about Thierry Henry's card, guys. Um, this card definitely is a good version of his card. Um, I think the big thing for me is that it's Thierry Henry, and I feel like they definitely should have made him better. Like, I really, really believe this card should feel like Mbappe in the game, especially the Icon Moments version of the card. But because of the way that the game mechanics work. Um, and, you know, needing the five-star skills and all that stuff, too. Weak foot? Oh, he swears it with his, with his strong foot across goal. Not too shabby. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Tyrion recard. So in regards to how this card performs in-game, guys, the engine chemistry style, of course, makes the most sense to give him because you want to be able to uh, increase the bounce as much as possible because he is a six-foot-two player with a high and average body type. Now, obviously, for the meta of the game, you will notice that high and average body type with those dribbling stats and the six foot two height. Uh, I really hope in the future EA actually gives him. Well, I'm saying this for the mechanics of the game this year, but if you gave a card like this back in FIFA 15, he would be absolutely unbelievable because the mechanics of the game actually makes sense for that stuff, right? But for this game, again, you do notice the dribbling from time to time. Um, his attacking AI is perfectly fine, in my opinion. It's not on the level of someone like Kylian Mbappe. Like Kylian Mbappe's attacking AI is just. Ooh, you know, even the rare gold is just disgusting, in my opinion. But this Thierry Henry card right here uh, definitely moves across the pitch well because of the high medium work rates. If I remember correctly, he used to be a medium medium, and I, I could be wrong in saying this, but the high medium work rates in the striker position allows you to actually use the card properly, which is obviously very, very helpful. Um... Yeah, I think like the two main things is obviously the lack of skill moves for the meta of the game, uh, the dribbling to body type ratio, uh, but everything else is perfectly fine. Shot power at 90 you will notice from time to time because you won't be able to fully utilize uh, the finesse shot trait and, well, mostly the finesse shot trait from outside the 18 uh, because of that. And it's it's like a, a certain cutoff in this game. It's really weird. But with Thierry Henry, guys, uh, as an SBC, for a card that you want to unlock for sentimental value, I did enjoy using the card because it was Thierry Henry. But I do think that they should make him better in this game, for sure. I think, like, I think because Kylian Mbappe and Henry are kind of very similar players, it would be sick if a moment or a prime Henry felt like Mbappe, in my opinion. I, I just think that... 
that would make the most sense in regards to how he performs in game. Like, Henri, for me personally, has never really been, like, a crazy good card in FIFA. But the Icon moments is definitely better than the other versions that he had, uh, which is good because some cards don't feel that way. Like, I, I heard that Ronaldinho feels worse, which is... I tried Ronaldinho's card, and I actually really liked it, but... I never really tried all the previous versions, so I don't 100% know, right? But with Thierry Henry, guys, in my opinion, you unlock more for sentimental value. I think for an SBC, he might be up there in price right now. I want to see, actually. So there's the 82-plus player pick. Thierry Henry as an SBC is 1 million coins. Yeah, I don't think he's a 1 million coin player by any means, right? It's a card that you unlock as you continuously progress in the game. You get fodder, you put the fodder into uh, the SBC, but he's not really going to be like a game-breaking, game-changing player for you, but it'll be fun to get uh, and to use Henri because of who he is, you know? It's not like getting a Maradona card, like Maradona is actually kind of saucy regardless of the weak foot, but... Hopefully you guys did enjoy the review today. I will catch you guys for the next one. I'm going to try to work on the uh, Path to Glory cards today. I was, work I was working on some earlier in the morning, but then obviously the content came out, so I was working on the content. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the other videos. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.